try it out, not. Parked in the in the driveway. I wasn't I wasn't driving. That that didn't just happen. So it's raining. It's miserable. I almost fell down the stairs. I'm out of focus now. I'm in focus, and Oliver's leg is bothering him. So we're not gonna go for a tick tick today. I'm trying to get these foods out for the cat one handed. It doesn't work so well. That cat, definitely half dog. She eats so much, cries and begs for food, just like a dog. It's ridiculous. Today is Tuesday, swimming day. And I'm actually gonna go swimming this week. I haven't gone swimming in two weeks now. I had to work last week, the week before. I, I, I worked one week and then another week me and Amy were doing something or it was crap yet, I can't remember. But there's two weeks in a row now we haven't gone swimming. But this week, we're gonna go swimming. Here's my bud with the bum leg. So, we're just gonna relax. Plus it's raining and it just started to pour pretty good when I got home. So Amy is um, with the tiny little human. She had to pick her up from school today. So she is going to meet Liz and I at the pool at seven and it's probably not even quite five. So I have about an hour, hour and a half or so before I have to leave. So it means I have to get ready, I have to eat something. I wanna watch John Hill's um, video. He just posted it before I left. It looked like a bad one. Um, if you're unaware who John Hill is, I'll put a link to his channel down below. He's one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Um, like two days ago, three days ago or something like that, he got robbed. And they stole, I think, I don't know if they got his phone, but they stole his backpack and his camera. So he got his computer stolen. He got his camera stolen. I don't know what else. I'm going to go ahead and guess that this might be an announcement video about what they got. Through this ordeal, though, he's been staying pretty positive. I personally would have lost my mind. I would have went off the rails. There's no way I could handle having all my stuff stolen. Like... And he had a MacBook Pro, not the new crappy ones. He had one of the old, which really, really sucks. No, you can still get the 2015 versions. Oh, I went out of focus there. But he's got to get a new computer, probably not insured. So that sucks. I know he just recently got one of the new um, Sony, I forget the model number. It's like $1,000 though. It's a, like a point and shoot, but it does. I don't remember how many frames, but it does a lot of frames per second. So probably more than 60. I think it does at least 120 frames per second. Great in low light, really, really phenomenal camera. But he's a super positive, super motivated guy. Uh, he's also a skater and he skates for Revive Skateboards, which is kind of how I found Revive Skateboards. Oliver, what is on the top of your head, buddy? It feels like something just stuck in your fur, like you got your head into something. Yeah, your mom probably dropped ham on your head or something today. Probably had family hand dropped on his head. But I wanna watch that video, see what that's all about. The plan today was, this afternoon, Ryan and I were gonna go out and uh, fly the drone. He was gonna take some photos, and that was going to be the bulk of today's vlog. I was gonna put a nice long drone montage in there. Uh, it would've been cool, but it's been raining all day. And we wanted to film the ice packs floating down the river. We didn't get to do that because if it was just cold, it would have been fine, but it's not too cold, but it's rainy. So that didn't work. I'm gonna go get my mail. Ugh, it's just stuff for Amy. It's her, um, let me show you the top. 
Uh, my wife, Amy, she's a, a x-ray tech and they need to stay current on their certifications so this lets her do that and she ordered something from Amazon. I, still on time, fingers crossed will have a small unboxing on Friday because I have something that should be coming in the mail and it should be here Friday. Now today's only Tuesday so I still have to wait like three more days. I'm really kind of bummed about the length of the shipping time. It said five days and I ordered it like last Wednesday and then it didn't even ship until Friday. The place I got it from is in Portland and if you order by three o'clock, it ships out the same day. I think I ordered it literally like 3.15, 3.16, something ridiculous. So I missed the same day, but it should have shipped out Thursday and then it didn't ship out till Friday and then I didn't even get any tracking information, I think until like Saturday, like it just sat there. As of yesterday, at like 6.22 last night, it was sitting in Chicago, or just outside of Chicago, and it hasn't moved. I'm guessing the trucks probably go a little bit later at night. Ugh. Probably helps to avoid the traffic. Ooh, you stink like cat food. She just ate, I guess that's why. My normal MO is I like my hair long, but I have like crazy curly hair. And my entire life, I hated, hated my curly hair. I could not stand my hair being curly. I actually used to use a flat iron. I did, I flat ironed my hair. Sounds pretty terrible, but I did it. I couldn't stand it. So normally my MO is I will cut my hair in the beginning of summer, and I will wait all through summer. It starts to get long. And I'll just keep letting it grow throughout winter because it's cold and my head gets cold. So if I have hair on my head, my head is less cold. And then sometime around March or April, I go and I get my hair completely cut off. But this year's goal is to not cut my hair in the beginning of summer. I'm gonna let it grow throughout the entire summer. I do not look good bald. Can't really see it. I don't know if you can see it now because my head's turned, but there's a bump on my forehead right here. That bump is from my sister hitting me in the head with a wooden baseball bat. To say the least, that was not exactly a comfortable situation. I had a goose egg, like cartoon style goose egg on my forehead. They took me to the hospital, I went to the ER, I had a concussion. But other than that, I was fine, except for I still have to this day a bump on my head. I was probably eight to 10 years old. Now, she didn't do it on purpose. Uh, we were playing baseball in the front yard of the house. I was the catcher. I guess I was standing too close. And when she swung back, she swung back right into my head. Now, when my sister was younger, she was a great softball player. So that didn't bode well for my skull. But she didn't fracture my skull, so that's good. But that's the only good thing that happened. Because now... 25 years later, I still have a bump on my skull that if my hair is, if I ever go bald, I'm, I'm in trouble. Because it, if my hair is really short, as a little kid, I did have like a crew cut for a while. And that was bad because you can really see this bump. <clears throat> if you can't tell by the change of clothes, it's the next day. I made myself a sandwich last night, and I put on Now You See Me Too. Well, actually, I finished Now You See Me Too. I had started watching it. So I was like, ah, I need to watch something while I eat my sandwich. I put in the movie, and I had like probably an hour or so left in it. I only seen about half of it. I watched that, and then I realized it was time to get ready and head over to pick up Liz to go swimming. So I didn't do anything else. I got wrapped up in my movie, but I finished the movie. Both of them, the first and the second, were surprisingly pretty decent movies. I really thought they were gonna be, well, I really thought the first one was gonna be like super cheesy and I didn't really think I was gonna like it too much. It was on demand, so it was a free movie to watch. I don't know, it was like two years ago when it came out? I don't remember. Now You See Me came out in 2013. I must have watched it about a year and a half to two years ago because I've had Xfinity with the the premium channels for almost two years now. Uh, I'm almost out of that contract, and then it, we got to keep HBO. We got to watch Game of Thrones, but everything else is going away. I don't need it. I, I'm not. I don't want to pay for it. I was a killer deal at the time. 
and now it's skyrocketed, so I'm not going to see the sign. Yeah, they gave me that at open mic. That's a great sign. I really like that sign. I'm so crooked. I was surprised at how good the first one was. I wouldn't go as far as say it was like a great movie, but it was good. It was really entertaining. I thought it was going to be super cheesy. I just watched it because there was like nothing else on and it was just, hey, I'll watch this movie. I don't have to pay anything extra because I refuse to buy or rent movies through my TV. Why pay like four to $12 to rent a movie when there's a red box right down the street and I could pay $1.50? I'm looking, I keep looking over here. This is what I'm looking at here. This setup right here. That's a light fixture. That's a drum. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm gonna make a light out of that drum. Now, I don't know if um, I'm gonna cut it in half. I do have, I do have a half of a drum there and I have another half a drum there. Why do I have two separate different size halves of drums? Okay, I'll show you. There's one. There's the other. Why is there a drum inside a suitcase? To be a one-man band, of course. Let me put one together real quick. That didn't sound that good. That needs to be retuned. I did not create this idea. I stole it and I took it from Shaky Graves I'll throw a quick clip of him playing an awesome song and using one right now. Yeah, I thought that was the coolest thing and that was a project I did. So before I vlogged, otherwise I would have shown you making one. The way I did it is I went to the Salvation Army and I got some suitcases. You found some that kind of like already sounded pretty decent. You want something kind of firm that already kind of had a good uh, percussion hit to it when you tapped on them. And then you go and you get drums and you get some floor toms and you cut them in half. I built the 12 inch one first, uh, but I wanted a bigger drum, but at the time I could only find a 12 inch. Uh, so I bought the 12 inch, made it, it worked. It sounded pretty good. So I wanted a larger one and then I found a guy that had a bunch and sold me one, so then I got this one. The head, the reason, it's just gaff tape that I put on there. Um, the head of this one looked like crap. If you go online, a lot of people made these. I'm not the only one that stole Shaky Graves' idea, uh, but it was just super, super cool, and I always plan on playing open mics with these, and then I, I never did. Oh, the only time I've played open mics in the past years was with Scott at, at World of Brew. Okay, I rambled. I gotta get ready and go to work because it's now probably, I gotta leave, I gotta be out of this house in less than five minutes. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can like by giving me a big thumbs up. You could subscribe by hitting that big red subscribe button down below or clicking on my floating head at the end of this video. Thank you.